Welcome to PDF3D Report Gen. The most important concepts are in the way that the menu is organized across the top menu bar and across the left side of various tabs that are available for the settings. It's divided into these different sections to make getting started very easy. You can start the process by adding a file in the adding file menu, select a sample model, and the output file is automatically set to the same name with the .pdf extension. Now for simple models, that's all you have to do. And then the next step is to push the convert button at the top, which launches the process of loading the model, making a conversion to 3D PDF, writing the output file, and then opening it for review in either the Adobe Reader or Acrobat that you may have available for viewing 3D PDFs. In the menu structures, on the left we can see that there's a number of tabs for adjusting the settings during the conversion. We started out here with the main file conversion settings of input file and output file. We can also control the way the conversion works, either through U3D or PRC type of encoding. Set up the views, uh, the default rendering modes, background color, etc. on the 3D view tab. The Layout tab sets the page size and where the view sits within the page. The Geospatial and the Gridding tab are for geospatial data that we'll come on to in later tutorials. The Scene Axis can be added to provide extra annotations in the scene. And Annotations tab allows us to add more content onto the 2D PDF page surrounding the 3D view, such as a title, caption, and watermarks. If you have multiple objects being moved in the scene, these can be set up through the Animation tab. Security can be set for putting passwords or protection in the 3D content within the PDF. Advanced tab is for extra settings that are not normally used, but may become in helpful. And for various file types and interfaces, we have a Settings tab to adjust particular file type conversions. So that's the overview and we're very happy to provide other tutorials for additional information or please look at the, the user guide which is available on the start menu or from a button right on the interface menu. Thank you.